I am chosen. I am chosen. I am chosen. Who are you? <laughs> we are all chosen. We have a move of Satan today deliberately targeted against the move of God in miracles. Even believers are beginning to drop their contending according to the scripture for the miraculous. Everything is now deemed fake. Now somebody said they shot and it didn't go through and you are like, hey. Then you will laugh when you hear Jonah say, I was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. You will say, hey, hey, belly of the fish. But it did happen. You see, be careful so that the devil does not know you regarding the miracles. Can I shock you? Look at it. It's still the same thing. Elisha got up and said, by this time tomorrow. And one man that is like a lot of believers today say, ah, ah. Even if God make all the heavens windows, shall this thing be? He doubted it. He called it that it cannot happen. It happened, but he didn't taste of it. Once you begin to doubt certain mighty works of God, look at this, you will cut yourself away from his experience. So when you start doubting that somebody can shoot and it will not enter, it will enter you because you have already, he said you will see it with your eyes, but you will not taste of it. So the miraculous that you doubt, you have already cut off yourself from having a taste of it. So the man died for what came to keep them alive. Imagine if in our, in our days today, eh, somebody will tell you that my family, we went through the Red Sea on bare floor. That the sea divided. That our prophet just raised his, his rod like this. And then the sea divided to the left and to the right. And all of our generation went through on the dry ground. <laughs> you, you will not say how many of you. You say millions of us. <laughs> you will laugh and fall. But it happened. And there's a problem. Many times, a lot of us feel that if an illiterate shares a testimony, it is, it's fake. What's our problem? I cannot shock you. The people that will experience incredible miracles, a lot of them will be illiterate. Because it's your education that is robbing you of, your, of, of the miraculous. It's your education. Because you dig the Y, the X. So you will differentiate and see if it integrates. <laughs> you do calculus. So you say, no, 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 does he follow logic? Then how will it be a miracle? Imagine if in our days, Peter came and said, I walked on water. <laughs> he said, which water? <laughs> so some of these things that we are hearing cannot even be compared to what we have read and believe. I believe that men will want to shoot to kill me and God will stand between me and them. I believe it. I will never doubt it. Hallelujah! I believe that God can show himself on my behalf like that. You need to understand the place of miracles. It's so you can believe. The miraculous is your way of life. The supernatural, things beyond logic. That's how God has called us to live. How do you explain that you have the spirit? How do you explain that you have what? The spirit of God. Come on, is it logical? How do you explain you are saved? <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.